what is good y'all today i'm about to show you guys how to set up that transparent twitch chat overlay you see in your favorite streamers streams let's get it i am going to be using Streamlabs to achieve this a very popular and widely used live streaming software i'm gonna have you guys go to the Streamlabs website and either log in if you already have an account set up with them or you can log in via the twitch option which should be listed right below that all right, once you guys log in, you should be greeted with a dashboard that looks similar to this. And from here, we're gonna go to the left and then we're gonna go to the all widgets. We shouldn't have to scroll that much before we get to the chat box widget. It's a pretty simple widget, actually. Um, this is all this is all the options. We're gonna start at the top. I'm gonna work my way down to the bottom, give a simple explanation for a lot of these options here. But first, you're going to be greeted with some themes they have no previews for them but these are some themes you can download to make your stream uniform and look uniform look pretty good below this we're going to have the widget url url you can copy that right now you can copy it later but this is what's going to allow us it's pretty important this is what's going to allow us to actually have your widget show up on obs which is in turn going to have it show up on your stream so like I said, you can copy that right now or you can copy that after you kind of configured everything. I love that they included a preview here. This is just going to show you everything that you're changing here. It's going to show up in the preview here so you don't have to go around and go live and do all that, man, just to see what it's going to look like in the end. The theme, this is going to pertain to the theme of the chat when it shows up and you can go a little box where well, they said that's Twitch. It looked like Twitch old school i'm gonna keep it clean here but that just subtle changes to the visual the visual aspects of the the, the widget on the actual stream when it comes to showing icons this is just going to show what platform the viewer is streaming on and this one is this is not necessary unless you're just like ninja and you just want to see what you're streaming at five places at one time and you just want to see where everybody is but you really don't need to have that enabled if you're just streaming on twitch solely badges i do recommend you enable all these badges so you can separate your viewers and kind of know what viewers have what status and such all those things of that such so moderator subscriber you'll easily be able to in, identify all these statuses when you have all these options enabled i would enable all the extra uh emotes as well Especially if you have a lot of emotes, you use a lot of emotes, your community loves the emotes. I would definitely enable all these so the emotes show up on the actual stream as well. Background color is for preview purposes, but when it comes to text color and font size, you can adjust this to where it gets, you can, it goes, it goes pretty high. So yeah, you can adjust that. Let's see, let's change the color a little bit. I don't think black go, yeah, black not gonna show up right, but. They go to red right there. I'm gonna change it back to white and lower that back down. So text color and font size pertains to those two elements right there. High message after. Always so messages. So there's two dynamics when it comes to this option. Yeah, if you have a very fast chat, then a lot of the old chatters will get replaced by the new chatters messages. If you have a slow chat, then it, it will most likely probably just sit there on the screen. So if you if you don't want if you have a slower chat and you don't want the messages to just stay up there on the screen you can disable that and, and enable a timer for it but if you have always show messages uh, and you know you have a pretty fast chat it will automatically be replaced so there's two different dynamics to that you can kind of identify which one you you fit in what category you fit in and then you can go from there you can add a stream labs chat delay on top of that it goes up to six seconds. That's the time from the person entering the message to the time it actually is going to appear in the widget. So if you want to set a delay for the fast, the people have bigger communities. You can set a delay for that as well. If you have a theme installed, some of these themes have animations to them. If you find that the chat is not as fluid as you would like, kind of disable some uh, the animations that come with some of these themes to make everything a little bit more fluid. High chatters. You can hide common chat bots. You can hide high command starting. Uh, you, so basically, a lot of the common bots you have to either moderate or do commands. You can hide that just to prevent unnecessary uh, just chat, chatter, chat like 
especially if you have a lot of commands and a lot of bots in your in your chat you prevent them from showing up in the actual widget which will allow more space for actual you know viewers to chat and that would be only in the widget muted chatters um you don't have to really mess with this muted chatters category because once you time out or ban somebody in your twitch chat you won't even have to worry about them chatting anymore it won't allow them to do anything right so i wouldn't you don't really have to touch this option but i always advise somebody with this custom bad words i always advise somebody to incorporate some type of blacklist that you can use the same ones you use for your youtube and your twitch you can use that same blacklist but i would definitely post some type of blacklist in this field right here so nothing pops up that'll get you in trouble or that'll cause tension or you know any unnecessary uh conflict but that's where you will enter that in and then enabling custom html this is just for coders you know what i'm saying who got a little bit more experience and they know exactly what they want you got you don't have to worry about that we can go ahead and leave that disabled once you got everything just how you like it go back to the top of the page and copy the widget url and open up obs once you guys have obs open i'm gonna have you go to the scene you have set up for recording or streaming go to the sources tab we're going to right click and we're going to add a browser source from that you can just name it you know live chat okay and then not liver chat and then not okay we're good and then we're going to do we're going to paste that widget url up in there bam you're gonna see number the red box but first let's go ahead and test it you can use the red box to kind of configure it and resize it and adjust it and move it wherever you need to move it but we're going to go back have my go to your twitch website go to your channel then go to your offline chat i'm gonna type something in here just to see if it works you know what i'm saying all right Ooh, it works so i was just testing that it works and from there you can kind of adjust it if you see something pop up in between these red square then you are good to go and that is how it's done i appreciate y'all for tuning into the video leave a like on it if it helped you out until next time i'll see y'all soon